Hey, what's up guys? I'm Beef Brody from Tactical Baby Gear. And can you believe the difference that this bag has made over the last eight years? Uh, the, the iterations of it going from the original heavy duty is what we called our original version of this bag back in 2013, about eight years ago when we first came out with this. You know, there's a lot of things that go into consideration when we look at updating bags. We look at sales data. What pouches and accessories are people buying with this? How can we um, add more value to the bag without having to make people buy more accessories with it and things of that nature? So after doing that, after a little while with this bag, and if you guys follow us on Instagram, you'll see that I'm constantly at the sewing machine and designing new things and trying new things and testing and tweaking and doing all kinds of stuff like that. So we're constantly looking to improve. So this bag after a couple of years went through a major update and turned into this. So this was our first sort of version of what we now call the Deuce. So this was the Deuce 2.0, meaning version two, where we included a lot of the sort of similar types of pouches and accessories that people were buying with the previous bag uh, via Molly webbing and, and that kind of stuff. So what we did is included those types of pouches on the front and we left the Molly webbing on the back so that you could still accessorize it and add things like the bottle pouch and the dump pouch, et cetera. Now, a few years later, after this bag has gone through a few minor tweaks and changes and updates, we have sort of a version three, we'll call it, the 2022 model, where we've taken some of that sales data, we've listened to you guys, read your comments, uh, looked at some of that kind of stuff and said, okay, we need to add a cooler pouch, we need to build in the wipes pouch, um, and we need to make sure that this thing is as functional as possible. And that's what we did. So this front compartment here that used to just be a big compartment for your diapers or wipes or whatever is now a thermal lined cooler pouch uh, so that you can put your bottles in here. You can put drinks, sippy cups, snacks, ice packs, things like that. Keep them cold right here in this front pocket. Now the other thing we did was build in the wipes pouch. So we ditched the Velcro and swapped them out for magnets. So you can see, you can just lift this thing up nice and easy. There's no more Velcro down here. Get directly into your wipes, grab what you need, and then this thing's gonna close all by itself and stay closed uh, nice and securely. This is great. And then there's a zipper here on the side where you can just unzip that, reload your wipes, and zip it back up, and you're good to go. Those are a couple of the major key updates to this bag. There's a few other minor things, like we've increased the width of some of these zippers, the bag has increased in dimension over the last couple of years, but this bag is still the same size as the most recent previous version, if that makes sense. <laughs> Otherwise, still the same. 600D polyester PVC line, so it's water resistant inside and out. You still get you know, your, your full length pocket down here in the back, this zippered pocket up here in the front for your like butt paste or keys or you know whatever you want to throw in there sort of quickly and easily you still get molly webbing on the sides and on the back so you can still add our utility pouches the bottle pouch if you want an additional bottle pouch you can add the dump pouch to it uh, if that's something that you want and then and then you have this full length pocket down the back of the bag here for the changing mat or you can also add our level 3a ballistic body armor panel uh, in here as well. You get 100% coverage of the back of the bag with body armor there. Um, inside the bag, nothing really has changed to note. Um, when we made the bag bigger, it was to help accommodate the packing cubes. So you can put two of our packing cubes inside of this bag and they fit perfectly. And I've just got these packed out with some random stuff just to kind of give you an example there. But if you don't want to purchase those, you still get that car compartmentalization in here with this divider. Now the divider is collapsible, so you can collapse that sucker down or, and then still have this uh, divider here, or you can remove this whole thing, which has a carabiner on it as well. So you can hook, again, random, you know, pacifier keys, whatever, stuff like that can get hooked there. But then you still have, you know, two more pockets inside of here. You get your stroller straps that come with it, so you can attach it to your stroller. And then you've got this other sleeve back here for like burp cloth, bibs, light blankets, things like that can slide right down the back of the bag there as well. Oh, we did add one extra row of webbing up here as well. So you can, it's a little bit easier to put like 
a dump pouch up here or hook a carabiner or whatever. So we improved that as well. Otherwise, I think that's it. This bag is now available. It just went live on the website. There's sort of limited quantity available initially. It's available in four colors, coyote brown, ranger green, black, and black camo. But if you want one of these, don't sleep on it. Head on over to tacticalbabygear.com. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.